Hi friends, I'm Priyanka from Genius Box. Let's construct a DIY hydraulic crane to play some learning. So let's start constructing the base. Insert part number 2A into one of the slots of part number 3A from above. Similarly, insert part number 2B into another slot of 3A. Our leg stand A is ready. Now insert part number 2C into one of the slots of part number 3B from above. Similarly, insert part number 2D into another slot of 3A. Our leg stand B is ready. Now insert the leg stand A horizontally into base plate from below. Make sure that the crosses match and secure it by two tiny bands from above after inserting it. Let's not forget to rub the inner circle of the base plate with a sandpaper and also apply wax on it. Insert part number 4 into the slot of part number 7. Number 7 should be facing towards part number 4. This will create set A. So let's insert set A into lower slot of part 5, that is the acrylic rack. Please apply wax on the rack and insert part 6 into upper slot of part 5, next to part 7. This will create a rack set. Insert the rack set in the sliding rail of the base stand. Now place the rack as shown on the base plate. Use acrylic rack for part number 5. Secure the rack set in the base plate with a small rubber band from below. Now remove the body of the large syringe and insert the body into the hole of part number 8A. Insert part number 8A into upper slot of part number 1. Then insert part number 8B into the slot in such a way that syringe is facing opposite the sliding rack. Secure both the parts into part number 1 from below with a small rubber band. Also secure both parts by a small rubber band in the middle slot of the part. Take the plunger and insert it into the body of the syringe. Slide the rack set away for easy insertion of the plunger. Now place a small rubber band over the plunger body to secure it. Now take part number 9 and insert it into part number 10. Then insert this set into part number 11. After that, insert the whole set into long vertical slot between the rack and the base stand. Make sure to secure the inserted set by a small rubber band from below. Let's construct our acrylic gear set. Insert the part 12A into one of the slots in the acrylic gear from above. Further insert part 12A in the circular acrylic disc. Make sure the circular part should be below the acrylic gear. After that, insert part number 12B into the slots of acrylic gear and circular acrylic disc. Secure both the parts by a black washer. Kindly apply wax on the gear. Now insert part number 13, the circular plate on the top slot of 12A and 12B. Let's rub the edge of the circular plate with a sandpaper and apply wax on it. Further take part number 14, rub the edge of it with the sandpaper and apply wax on the edge and then insert it on the top slot of 12A and 12B in a similar way and let it sit on part number 13. Slide part number 15 from sideway to lock the gear set. Your set is ready and good to go. Now let's construct our horizontal arm. First insert the extended arm of part number 30 in the upper slot of part number 29A from behind. Insert the octagonal washer from the other side and make sure to secure it with a tiny band. Take another part number 29B and insert it in the extended arm of part number 30. After that, insert an octagonal washer and secure it with a tiny band. Our horizontal arm is ready. Now remove the plunger from a big syringe and insert it in the hole of part number 32. After that, take part number 33 and place it over part number 32 with a plunger handle between the parts. Match the notches of part number 32 and 33 and secure both the parts by a small rubber band. Then insert the body of the syringe into the plunger and our syringe set is ready. Now place the syringe set between the arms of the horizontal arm set by inserting them in the circular middle holes 
Now insert a circular washer on one of the arms of the syringe set and this circular washer will fit in the holes of part number 29. Then insert an octagonal washer and secure it with a tiny band. Insert a circular washer on the other arm of the syringe set and again this circular washer will fit in the holes of part number 29. Then insert an octagonal washer and secure it with a tiny band. Make sure the syringe should be facing downwards. And now our horizontal arm is completely ready. So let's construct our crane clock. Insert part number 20 in the middle slot of part number 19 now. Insert part number 21 in the slot of part number 19 below the part number 20. Then insert part number 42A in the legs of part number 20 and 21 from below. Our set B is ready. Insert part number 23 into the slider platform in the part number 22 from below. Now place part number 24 on the slider pin. Place one of the holes of part number 26A into one of the poles of slider pin. Similarly, place one of the holes of part number 26B in the other pole of the slider pin. Now take the set B and place it on the poles of the slider pin. Place a small rubber band to secure it. Now insert part number 42B in the legs of part number 20 and 21. The part 42B will secure the part 20 and 21 with part number 22. Don't forget to insert a small rubber band below. Try to slide the set B in the sliding portion of part number 22. Insert one end of part number 25A in one of the upper holes of part number 22 from below. Now put one circular washer on the free pole of 25A. Now take claw part number 27A and insert on the poles of part number 25A. The claw part should be facing inwards and away from part number 22. The two holes of the claw will fit over the two poles. After that, insert one circular washer on the pole of 25A that is fixed in hole of 22. Secure the claw on the poles by a small rubber band. Similarly, install the other claw. Repeat steps from 32 to 35. Parts needed 25B, 26B and 27B. Take part number 28A and insert it to end of part number 27A and secure it with a tiny band. Take part number 28B and place it over the inserted part number 28A. Secure both the parts by two small rubber bands. Take part number 28C and insert it to the end of part number 27B and secure it with a tiny band. Take part number 28D and place it over the inserted part on 28C. Secure both the parts by two small rubber bands. Now let's build our vertical arm. Insert the arm of part number 36 in the upper slot with the mark U on part number 34A. Insert the arm of part number 35 in the lower slot mentioned as L on part number 34A. Place an octagonal washer from the other side and secure it with a tiny band. After that, insert part number 37 in the lower circular hole of part number 34A. Insert a circular washer from the other side and then insert an octagonal washer. Secure it with a tiny band. Now take the other part number 34B and slide in the arms of 35, 36 and 37. While installing, make sure that part number 34B matches part number 34A. Now insert a circular washer in the arm of part number 37 and fit in the circular hole of part number 34B. Then insert an octagonal washer and secure it with a tiny band. After that, insert octagonal washer in the arm of part number 35 and secure it with tiny band. Our vertical arm is ready. Now take part number 16 
Rub the circular cavity with the sandpaper and then apply wax on it. Now place it over the gear set. Make sure the arrow on part number 14 and 16 should be facing in the same direction. Take the vertical arm and again make sure that the arrows on the vertical arm in part number 14 and 16 are facing in the same direction. Insert the slots of part number 14 and secure it by four black washers below. Make sure that the syringe in the base stand is fully compressed and the arrows on part number 14, 16 and 34 should be facing in the same direction. Now place the gear set over the base stand. The acrylic circular disc should fit in the circular cavity of the base plate part number 1. The rack and gear should match and coordinate properly. Secure the slots by a small rubber band. Now take part number 17A and insert it in the slots of part number 1 and 16 on the longer side of the base stand to lock them. Secure them with four tiny rubber bands. Similarly, take another part number 17B to lock the other side and secure them with four tiny bands. Take part number 18A and lock in one of the shorter sides of the base stand. Secure them with two small rubber bands horizontally. Now take part number 18B and lock in the shortest side of the base stand. Secure them with two small rubber bands horizontally. Let's insert vertical arm to the horizontal arm. Make sure the arrows on the horizontal arm and vertical arm are facing in the same direction. Also make sure that the syringe is fully compressed and facing downwards. The circular holes in the end of the horizontal arm will be inserted in the arms of part number 36 from outside in the vertical arm. Now let's insert claw on the horizontal arm. Remove the plunger of the smaller syringe and place it between part number 20 and 21. Insert it in part number 19. Secure the plunger by a small rubber band. After that, slide down the claw so that the claw ends are away from each other. Let's put the syringe body on the plunger. Compress the syringe and put one of the plastic ends of the syringe body in the lower horizontal slot of part number 22. The front end of the syringe body will fit in the hole of part number 30. Simultaneously, ends of the horizontal arm will be inserted in the vertical slots in part number 22. Now take part number 31A and insert in the slot ends of horizontal arm, securing the claw to the horizontal arm. And our model is ready. Now let's construct our remote. Remove the body from the three syringes and place all three of them in the holes of part number 40A. Now take part number 40B and place them over part number 40A containing the syringe bodies. This will sandwich the syringe bodies. Rotate the syringes so that the slots are not getting blocked. Now take part number 39A and vertically insert the larger arm of 39A in the slots of part number 40A and 40B. Part number 39 will sit between the two syringes Place a tiny band to secure the lock. Now take part number 38 and insert it horizontally in the slots of 39A and 39B from front. Place two tiny bands over the slots to secure them. After that, take part number 41A and place it above the set. It will slide through the slots of part number 39. Make sure that the text is facing upwards. Place two small rubber bands vertically to secure the lock. Turn the arrangement upside down and insert part number 41B and secure it with two small rubber bands.
Now insert the plunger in the syringe bodies. Our remote is ready. Now let's do the pipe installation. Take the smaller pipe and fit it into the syringe that is placed under the turn symbol in the remote. The remaining two pipes will fit in the other two syringes in the remote. Take a jug of water and place the ends of the pipe in the jug and gently pull out the plunger to suck the water. Make sure no air is trapped in the syringe and syringes are fully filled with water. The shorter pipe will be connected to the syringe in the base stand. One of the longer pipes will be connected to the syringe in the horizontal arm. The other longer pipe will be connected to the syringe passing through part number 37 in the vertical arm. And guess what? Your crane model is ready and good to go.